This is G.I. Joe Retaliation Storm Shadow and Sneak Attack Storm Shadow. Uh, the figure on the left is part of the first wave and the, sec the figure on the right is part of the second wave uh, of the G.I. Joe Retaliation. Three, three and three quarters figures uh, of, of the movie toy line. Uh, before we begin, as always, here's a quick look at the packaging. Um, the front of the packaging is roughly the same. You get some really nice artwork at the back and the rest of the assortment. Um, same here. This is this assortment for Wave 2. Oh, sorry about the glare. Yeah. Alright. Um... Alright, now both figures, if you've seen the movie, are not movie accurate. It's a shame because um, uh, the, the Wave 2 Snake Eyes is actually movie accurate. Wave 2 Roblox is actually movie accurate. Uh, but this, this Wave 2 uh, Storm Shadow is still not movie accurate. And, uh, well, I, I don't know. I don't know the, the reason why Hasbro... Uh, opted to do concept versions of Storm Shadow, but if you're still looking for a movie accurate uh, Storm Shadow, I think it you know I think it's fair to say you can settle for the Rise of Cobra Storm Shadow. More or less, this is a, the the costume may have some differences, um, maybe with the Cobra symbol and some details might be different here and there. Uh, but the costume, but I think this is a good uh, as any stand-in uh, uh, for for a retaliation uh, movie accurate Storm Shadow. This one, I'm not sure where they got it. It sort of has inspirations from Resolute, uh, from the movie, from what, uh, from cartoons, from whatnot. It, it's a mix mash of maybe from the game. Not entirely sure where Hasbro got this concept, but it's very good. I actually like this particular figure on the left. The figure on the right um, is, I think, a very, if I'm not mistaken, a variation of. Uh, there, of this particular figure. This figure, if you recall, is an homage to the um, G1 or the 1980s um, Storm Shadow figure where he becomes part of the Joe team, where he has a hood and those stripes. And this one, I think, is a more completed look because it has the hood, uh, while well, this one just has the coat. Um, but the stripes are not far off. This is more of a if you see this one, more triangulated uh, this pattern, this one is more striped. So, more or less, that that's that. So, again, uh, let's talk about the figures in detail. Uh, this particular figure, very nice, fantastic articulation and paint apps. I mean, the concept is not that great, but the paint apps are pretty good. Uh, there's hardly any issues that I, I noticed on this particular figure. Um, the the eyes, maybe, you want to pick one that has really nicely painted eyes. But most of the figures I've seen have no problems about them. The cobra symbol is fine. The gray bits are fine. So, paint apps, good job on this one, Hasbro. Articulation, absolutely brilliant. I love the articulation on this figure. This is how G.I. Joe articulation should be. I mean, Hasbro should not scrimp on it. And, 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 and um, not Comic-Con, but WonderCon, I think, or JoeCon. There was a panel, a G.I. Joe panel for Jokon. They admitted that it was a mistake to remove the articulation for figures that came with the vehicles, and they, it's a mistake they will not do. And I hope they cascade that to the rest of the figures that we see down the line. Uh, he's got a ball jointed neck, ball jointed upper torso, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, and wrists. Uh, and both the the ball hinge articulation on both wrists are, are identical. It's not like the Star Wars clone trooper or the ninja, red ninja articulation that one goes in and out, the other one goes up and down. This one, both both wrists go up and down. It's got a ball, G.I. Joe ball jointed um, hip, double jointed knees, fantastic. You gotta have double jointed knees for ninjas. Ball hinge ankles with rocker joints. So very, very nice. He comes with two blades, which he can barely hold, which kind of sucks. Um, that's okay. Uh, the the swords are well sculpted, good enough. Uh, Arashikage blades, 
Uh, he can't hold them. I've actually attached a, uh, a rubber elastic on this one so he can hold it tighter. It still can't hold it as well. The grip, it's really some, there's really something wrong with the size of the grip and, and the actual handle, uh, handle size. As you can see, he's got a, this is, looks more like a Rambo knife more than a uh, small katana. See, barely hold it. Anyway, um, so we'll stand him up. He also comes with a rappelling or a zip line backpack. And just like the ninja, the red ninja, there is a, a hook and line, zip line, uh, to, to, to make a zip line uh, in this package. I'm not going to take it out. Cause it's, you know, it's, it's just the same as everyone. It comes like a backpack, just like the flint um, zip line accessory it's the same he can hold it here and then he can repel and or do the zip line through these holes um or he can launch it uh, the, the claw launches from here and he uses a backpack a la sky commanders uh just like the sky commander um type of if you remember that in the 80s uh he can use a backpack and he can zoom through it okay um let's go let's go with this other figure uh as you can see, he's got a ton of accessories. And if you think the accessories look familiar, that's because they actually came uh, previously in this particular figure. This is the Pursuit of Cobra. I think Desert Pursuit, Desert Attack, Storm Shadow. Um, as you can see, he's got that chain weapon. Uh, he's got the swords and the backpack um, with this. Um, I, I particularly think the Pursuit of Cobra figures, the, the toy line for Pursuit of Cobra was just amazing. Great articulation, it's got a base, lots of accessories. This is how G.I. Joe figures should be made. And you know, I'm very optimistic with the retaliation line. I hope the Wave 4 figures do not disappoint. I've seen some of the Wave 3 figures online. Um, they have not made retail as of making this video. I hope they do. Uh, but some of the Wave 3 figures and, and, and a lot of the Wave 4 figures that Hasbro has been promising have a ton of accessories for their ultimate figures, and I hope, and I hope they do not disappoint. Bad news is I'm I'm getting hooked on GI Joes again. Ah, swore myself I slowly removed GI Joe out of the collection. Anyway, so here he is. He's got a removable cowl or hood, just like the um, the Dollar Tree exclusive or Kamakura if you have the three pack. Um, very nice. Uh, he comes with this chain weapon, and as you've seen, the, these weapons are very deadly. You throw one around and it recoils, comes back to you. Uh, you've seen some of the action films like Transporter 2 uh, with Jason Statham using a, um, a hose, a fire hose, to do the same effect uh, on this one. Uh, or Jet Li's films or Jackie Chan's films, they use the, this kind of weapons using a fire hose. Uh, the backpack, just like the Pursuit of, uh, Pursuit of Cobra's Star Shadow, comes with four uh, katanas. And um, as you can see, let's let's try and you get a pair. Uh, both the same length, but um, different. They have a different handle, and the reason being is if you watch the movie, um, you should Storm Shadow connects uh, his swords. The retaliation movie. And uh, you can actually do it on this one. Yeah, if, you, if you feel that it needs to be accurate, just paint it silver and paint it white. No big deal. But I like the fact that they've actually included this one, a, uh, the combining swords, which was actually present uh, in this uh, particular figure, and they didn't really have to do any remodes or anything like that. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, so we'll put it back. I actually thought one was shorter than the other, uh, but apparently they're the same length. Love, love this backpack. Now the figure, going to the figure itself, uh, before we go to the zipline. Oh, he also comes with a machine gun, which I find weird, since Storm Shadow does not use guns. So, on to the figure itself. Paint apps, again, as I said, very, very nice. Um, I like this sort of camo, ninja camo motif. I don't know, some people don't like it. I like it. This particular figure is not appealing to a lot of collectors simply because of that, I think. And it's been a peg warmer uh, since Wave 2 came out here in Manila. He comes with this web belt, this Arashikagi web belt. I don't know why Storm Shadow would need one, but it looks cool on him. 
um, articulation for this figure, much like this figure. It's got a ball joint and neck, upper torso ball joint, ball hinge shoulders, elbows, and ball joint wrist. And as, as I mentioned, the wrists go up and down, and none of them go in and out. Uh, he's got a ball jointed hip that's severely hinge, hindered because of, of this comma or this skirt. Uh, and this is really from the rise of Cobra. It's a mold from the rise of Cobra because as you can see, there's still that holster, that stupid holster where he puts his gun. Um, anyway, that mini pistol rail gun, whatever. Uh, he's got a ball jointed knee. Oh, no, sorry. Double hinged knees and ball hinge ankles, which is still the rise of cobra angle and no rocker joints so very very nice still i mean i like this figure uh i don't I, you know they cost a lot uh, admittedly the 15 dollars i mean a stupid price but i like it i like it um these figures did not disappoint um to me, they're, they're great figures. Oh, sorry, before I forget, it comes with this really nice zipline backpack. What I like about the backpack is it has a way to store the uh, the rope the, or the wires, whatever, the ropes that you use to do the zipline. And the way to do this, you push on this button. It also comes with this sort of bladed accessory that the instructions does not mention. I think he holds it this way and the blade's on the other side. And there's a sort of a key gimmick which you... you, you, you you don't really need it. You just push it on your own. But let me just show you how stupid and corny this gimmick is. You push it, and then the blades on the bottom come out, and these two flip out. And as you can see, I've not removed the rubber elastic because it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be a pain to put it all back together. These two can be removed, and you can hook them. They have small hooks underneath, and you can do that whole zipline thing. Um, but I'm just really not a big fan of the zipline right now, so I'll do that. So, should you get these figures? If you're a big G.I. Joe fan, you like the movie, you know, even if they're not movie accurate, yes, definitely. Um, I'm a big Storm Shadow fan, just like I'm a big Snake Eyes fan. Absolute must-have, these two figures. They do not disappoint. And don't be fooled, you see them on the shelves and they're like, there's a ton of them, nobody wants them. Sure, he's a bad guy, but if you watch the movie, he's not that bad at all. I absolutely love these figures. I give both these figures a 10 out of 10. I know it's a very high grade. I normally would just give it a 9 out of 10. But I'm a big Storm Shadow fan, so it's a bit of a bias. These figures are great. And if you haven't picked up any of the Storm Shadow figures uh, from the 3-pack or what, these two are not bad. Uh, between the two, well, mileage, this guy has a ton more of accessories. Playability, this guy has a lot more. So you decide. So there you go, folks. If you enjoyed this video review, please click the thumbs up icon. If you did, follow me on Twitter, Keek, Instagram. Catch my videos on YouTube at FX France and Chefatron, as well as the uh, videos I submit to Tech Sushi. This is the G.I. Joe Retaliation Storm Shadow and Sneak Attack Storm Shadow uh, by Hasbro from Movie Line. Thanks for watching.